Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how I put my water filtration system together. Alright guys, my problem here at my house, I have well water and it gets contaminated occasionally. Uh, you know, I could put chlorine down the, uh, down the well, but that's a big process because then all the pipes from the well to the house, all the plumbing in the house, uh, yeah, it gets disinfected, but I have to flush everything out and it's, it's, really, a, it's really a pain. Uh, I want a more permanent solution. I don't want to have to keep putting chlorine in the well all the time. Um, so what I did during the summer is I bought a uh, water pure, a UV water purifier in hopes that it would kill the bacteria because uh, my well is contaminated with the coliform bacteria. Um, so I put a whole house UV uh, purifier and I put an under sink UV purifier, kind of a double whammy kind of effect. And it went through a pre-filter, uh, two pre-filters and the uh, UV purifier. And then I had an ionizer to make the water more alkaline. That also had two filters. And it worked great for a few months, two, three months, and then my water got contaminated again. My test results, which I'll show you here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a three-stage filtration system. I'm gonna, I have a solid carbon or carbon block uh, filter that says it filters out to 0.5 micron. Okay. So that's the first stage. Water from the house goes into here. And from here, I'm going to have it go into two ceramic filters, which are right here. Okay? And it's your same standard, uh, uh, I think they're 9 and 3 quarter inch, but really, you know, they advertise them as 10 inch. I'm going to have two of these in here. So I'm hoping this will catch all the sediment, all the, all the stuff, uh, and some of the bacteria. Then it'll go into these uh, ceramic filters, two stage. This will catch whatever this didn't catch. And this third one should catch pretty much everything. And if anything does get through that second one, the third one, it goes through a UV uh, purifier and that should kill anything that, go, that uh, gets through there. Now I'll show you what's on uh, the box here on these ceramic filters. It pretty much removes, uh, they say, 99.999% of bacteria and uh, cryptosporidium, 99.99%, uh, and, and then just a list of uh, all these funky looking, uh, fun funky sounding uh, uh, worms and, and stuff, okay? So I'll show you what, what it says on here. Okay, so I am going to show you my UV water purifier under the sink now. This is the UV purifier. Um, apparently it doesn't really work very well. And the only thing I can think of is because the filters, the pre-filters that were before this were so contaminated that this just couldn't keep up. So now with those ceramic filters, I'm hoping that that will catch pretty much everything. And if anything slips by those ceramic filters, this should kill it. All right, guys, this is a system I have right now. I have a uh, water ionizer. Uh, and let me take this out. Let me get some light in there. All right. So what happens is water comes out of here and it goes into those two pre-filters. I have a half micron and a I'm sorry, a 5 micron and then a half micron. And then from there it goes into my UV purifier, which is right that unit right there. And I put that on the door. Let's see if I can open it here. See that? I put I mounted it on the door so uh, it's easier to clean and stuff. I want a permanent solution. So I went with the UV purifier. Um, it worked for a while, but it's not working that well anymore. I tested the water again and come out positive for coliform. 
So if that come out positive, that means that the, the filters for this unit right here, which are like $65, $70 each, uh, are contaminated. I can't use them anymore, and they're fairly new. So we're going to get rid of this life ionizer and just do away with it. It's just too expensive uh, for water. Our water here, our well water, is actually 7.5 alkaline, which is pretty good. Um, actually, it's very good. All right, now I'm not going to mount these how you would traditionally mount them on the side here like this. Although it looks great, the only problem with that is when you unscrew them, uh, water is always spilling and you're going to get your cabinetry wet and wood and water don't mix, you know how that goes. So what I like is putting extra tubing, pull it out and put it in a tub or a little plastic tub or something, unscrew your filters, let it all fall on the, in the tub and, um, and do it that way. And then when you're done, put your, put your new filter in it and you just put it back in there and set it in there. So that's what I like to do. Alright, so here's my filtration system. It's coming up from here, going into the first filter, and that filters down to half micron, and it's a carbon block filter. And then from there out into here, which is the first ceramic, the second ceramic, and then back out into the uh, UV purifier. I cleaned the uh, glass out in there, and it was perfectly fine. Um, so from the purifier, through the purifier, up, up to here. And now what we'll do is test the water for any uh, coliform bacteria. All right, here it is, all installed. I got these little uh, plastic uh, containers, one for this one and one for that one, just in case of a leak. Uh, so it's not that bad. This, this is actually in an island, uh, kitchen island. So this compartment here is strictly for the water filtration. It's not like I gotta put pots and pans or anything in here. Um, so, which is nice. Uh, but it's not that bad. It's not taking that much room. Uh, all this spaghetti here is uh, electrical wires. I do have a, uh, a GFI outlet in case something were to happen. Uh, this is uh, 3 8 tubing, plastic tubing here, and it's all 3 8 until it gets to the kitchen uh, faucet where it comes out. It's a quarter inch where it connects there. I got a, uh, I don't know if I can pull it out here. Can you see that there? Yeah. It go, it's uh, 3 8 down to a quarter inch, and it goes up into the uh, kitchen faucet. So, now I'm going to let it run for maybe a few minutes, you know, clear, clear the water out and I'm going to test it for the uh, coliform bacteria and we'll see the results in two days. All right guys, now we're going to check it for coliform. Uh, I like this kit right here. Coliform test kit. Uh, search for this online. I don't remember how much it was. Uh, it's very inexpensive um, compared to the ones at the big box stores. Uh, I think I paid $50 for a test at the big box stores. Um, it included the chlorine and, and uh, iron and copper and all that stuff. But I don't really need that. I know what's in my water uh, and it's pretty good other than the, it's contaminated with the polyform. Um, but you get five, five of these little vials, and in the bottom you get this little pill that, uh, let me show you one right here. There's like a little pill down there at the bottom. You fill the water up to that line right here, and that pill will start dissolving. And let me see if I have a picture. So this is what it'll look like. The top one is contaminated. You'll have bubbles. Um, all the gel will float to the top. Uh, but the bottom one, it'll turn red or yellow, but there'll be no gel floating at the top and no bubbles. And I think I have my old test right here. 
This is my old one. It turned yellow and the gel floats to the top and it's full of air bubbles. Well, actually it's gas from the bacteria. So that's what you don't want. And that's what I got in my water. So what we're going to do now is we're going to test the water. Um, I let it run for like five minutes maybe. Right now there's a lot of air bubbles in the water because the filters just got changed. I don't know if you can see that on camera. But it's cloudy because it's full of air bubbles. If I let this sit for about a minute it'll all clear up and uh, be crystal clean. It used to have a foul odor. Not no more. Now it smells really good. Very clean. Uh, see it's already clearing now. It's just air bubbles. Um, so we're going to test this water and we're going to see. And it'll take two days for the test results. Uh, because what that little pill does, I guess it feeds the bacteria. Bacteria. If there's any bacteria in there, uh, they'll feed on that, whatever's in that pill. And they'll grow, multiply, and they'll turn into like a gel. It'll float to the top and it'll get full of uh, gas bubbles. So that's what you don't want. If you fill it up and after two days it's still no gel and it's clear, it could be red or yellow, um, with no air bubbles and no gel floating at the top, then you're good to go. Alright, so we're going to try that now. Alright, so we're going to let this run a little bit. Like I said, I already had this running for a few minutes, maybe five minutes. Um, I'm sure these cleared out. We're going to slow the pressure down just a little bit. And we're going to fill this up to that line. Got a lot of air in there. And that's about it. I don't know if you can see that on camera there. It's just air bubbles in there right now. It's all floating to the top. Um, so I got the water right up to this black line. Now I'm going to seal this so it doesn't get contaminated. There, now it's sealed. You don't want to shake it. Just leave it alone for two days at room temperature and uh, 48 hours and you'll see the results at the at the end of the 48 hours. Alright, it's been 48 hours and the test results are in and it's negative. If you remember the chart here, I'll show you a picture of it. So, the water is safe to drink. Uh, the ceramic filters work pretty darn good. Um, I'm gonna have to check this, well I've been checking it monthly, so Basically every month um, I'm going to be checking it to see uh, if anything's changed. Uh, everything I've seen online about ceramic filters is wonderful, you know, so I'm um, hoping this is the uh, permanent solution to the contaminated well. Uh, I mean, it's not really bad, uh, but it's bad enough. Uh, so anyways, uh, and for those of you that have city water where you have chlorine and fluoride, I would recommend a carbon block filter uh, and a fluoride filter to get rid get the fluoride out of your water, um, and uh, and try the ceramic filters too. The ceramic filters won't filter out chlorine or fluoride, but they will get all the organic matter out of your uh, water, like the uh, bacteria and all those cysts and worms and all that stuff. All right, guys. So shows up negative. Everything's cool here, and I can drink my water. So yeah, so now, the ultimate test. I still got a lot of air in that water. Yeah, it's... <laughs> No, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's good. Very clean. Alright guys, thanks for watching. 
And uh, please like and subscribe, and I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you.